All right, so if we put the tree beacon here somewhere, um, let's put it right there. And then we need to do a chest. It's not on the same level, so my challenge is do I put it up? Because I don't think it has a vertical thing. Tree Beacon. It is something we learned about when we were exploring Astral Sorcery. It is a small magical tree farm from Astral Sorcery. It converts regular trees into magical trees. It only does a certain amount, so as you can see, some of these aren't converted, so I should probably chop them down anyway. So these are your magical blocks that just generate tree drops so over time. So yeah, I'm not sure if I, I need to probably take care of a little bit of this, like you probably need to go. <laughs> That's the amount of tree blocks that are magical. Um, we'll redo you, I think. Let's do... Um, pick you up. And we need to sleep. Alright, so there's a small tree that would work. And do we have any bone meal here? That's kind of a silly request. It's very unlikely I have any bone meal on me. Okay, so we have this one weird looking tree. Let's see about getting a second one on the same Y level. Like here. Do I have this? I don't think so. Alright, so the other option is um you. I don't have enough spirit orb, okay, well. I'll need to get some more spirit herb. There's an empty spot, so I can put spirit herb in there. Whoa. Um, none of those spells are going to be helpful for me right now. Oh, you know what? There was one other one. Um, nope, I think I took it off. Rampant growth is the one that does a, a larger area, and I think there was a smaller one. Nope. We're fine. Yeah, nope. Alright. So we'll wait for you to grow. And then we'll put the tree beacon down. In the meantime, I need a water source. Do I even have a bucket? I do. So let's go get a water source closer by so that we can make um yeah da, da, da. <laughs> I don't think I can get very many water sources here. There we go. Water sources out here by the crafting. Let's do there. And there is 
water finite? No. But in the flowing streams, some of it isn't actual full blocks. The way the mod forms, some of them aren't actual full blocks. But they do replenish. So now we can do that right here. Yep. And we'll do the lathe and plaster. We can get rid of that. Which is lime water, and so we do the sand that we brought with us. That'll give us eight. And how many? We need four to make one. So let's make two blocks each time we do it. Um, I wonder if it's because these are chiseled. We have our chisel here somewhere. Was it easier without water? Was there a no water recipe? Oof. Slaked lime still needs water. It's just doing a quick lime. Yeah. Um, let's is it the same equivalency we need eight let's see it's the same equivalency too I was trying to see if there's one where you could sneakily get more out of it but it's it's the same okay and then this Yep, there's our first one. We can do another one. I just wanted to make sure that it would convert. All right, so we need another chest. <laughs> Let's use these. Or your audience must be impressed or you're wasting your and we'll probably do it here. Put our lathe and plaster, our chalk dust. Um, Yeah, we'll get a furnace going with some, oops, some wood. Did we get that second tree yet? No. Because um, I think they, ha they have to be fully grown trees for the tea tree beacon to convert them to magical trees. So I have to check that. So this will be an interesting process to make some lathe and make it some lathe. We're going to need a lot of it. The whole first floor is going to be the, the lathe and plaster stuff. Maybe all the floors. No, I don't know. But this is an interesting process to learn. It's something um, new. So yeah, I like, I like new. It is definitely process. Um, out of all of these different types, I like this one without the frame on it. Actually, I wanna do the one with the frame along the first row. Okay, and then above it could be either the plain one, like this. Oh, that's got a bottom frame. One that looks more plain. Anyway, have a bit less. We'll figure it out. We'll have to use a bunch of different ones. But we'll do the framed X's along the bottom. That makes sense to me. So what do we need? 
uh, for that, we need to make the square framed one, which is this one. Okay, and then we'll just be able to put it in the crafting and convert it to the one with the um, X. Yep. All right. So we have thick line sand. That's not the one I wanted to pick up. Now there has to be a water crafting method, I think. I do not think I'm going to have access to it this early in the game. So there we go, we have six, eight, and then what do we need? We need timber. Let's do that. Okay, so... Timber, oh it's shaped. Timber? No. Oh dear. I need to do timber to do timber shape to do the timber smaller. Okay. So it's actually this. To get the oak timber to do this. To get the timber framing. At least it gives us a lot. And then we need to do that. This will give us 32, which we can then put in here to change to the square frame. Yay. Whoa. And then me up. I'm still, still not good at the sky soaring. We might just have to pillar up. All right, and so we're gonna put these along the front. This one, hmm. We'll need to figure out what to do with this. Corners. Do with the corners. That looks real nice. Yes. Let's see, because I don't think I want I'm gonna put it here just to see, but I don't think I want that to have an exposed edge like that. I'll have to figure it out, but um, let's hop down there now, take a look. Oh, isn't that nice? And then let's look like these corner bits. Oh, they're not bad. Not bad, so I'm gonna do them. If we don't like them later, we can tweak them with like trapdoors on the sides. Make some like skinnier wall decoration. That's doable. All right. Um, let's chop down the rest of this wall and I have to see if I've got a wall, this floor. If I have a building gadget of some sort that doesn't cost power, since I don't have really a power source to collect. So yeah, just the other day you watched me place this floor and now I've torn it all down to move it. called wands. Hmm. 
Hmm, what are these? Oh, here they are. They just look different. Great. So we do need we could do stone for a little while. Do I have sticks? I do not see sticks. And I grab a piece of cobble. There we go. See how far this will take us for placing the new uh, grass grew fast. The new floor at this height. Oops. several of these since I don't have iron on me. That's it. That's how many it makes. Let's grab the torches that popped down. Place those first. Let's start. Alright, let's make another one. Keep going. Let's make a couple. Woo! Alright, more torches. Yeah. Any idea what you're going to put in the spaces between the walls? I mean, any ideas what I'm putting in here? Is that what you're asking? What this building is going to be for? Oh, on the ground floor. Um. Yeah, the ground floor. I haven't quite decided. At least it's going to be. Let's see. It's going to be one, two, three. So that's a decent height for a, a room that I could put small storage in. How is it that I used up all of that other wood? Um. Yeah. 
Okay. Do I not have it out here, maybe? Doesn't look like it. So I have to do another chisel. This is all stone, and that's all cobble and stone. Yep. Alright. Let's do another chisel. Or not. It must need to be in here. This is the chisel and bits one that I don't want. Um, you. Oh, it needs to be iron. That's right. The 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 the. Well, that means we need to go back home because I don't have ores here, and I don't have a mining area either. This is gonna look really nice. I'm really happy with that so far. Uh, I definitely want to add some more detail down here though. It's looking pretty. Land. These areas are too big. They need detail, so we'll have to do that. And we need to figure out where the windows are going to go. Because we need some windows. And that deck the deck out this side. Right there. Mm -hmm. We can pick up the lime water or whatever it is that we need from Stuff. There we go. The ground floor could be, since it's the entrance into the building, it could be like our crafting and our workshop area. Pretty easily. Um, I don't know how much storage I'm going to need. It'll have to expand as necessary. We're going to use the Arcane Archives Troves for the bulk items. That's essentially the barrel or storage drawer of the mod. Eh. All right. And chests for things we don't need a trove of stuff for. <laughs> And we'll use the Arcane, Arcane Archives chest for those, which are larger and can hold more per stack spot. Uh-oh. Must be underground. I must have something directly underground here that is um, doing that. Okay, can we place our tree beacon yet? Yes, we can. All right, we're going to do that here. Now it should eventually convert both of these little trees into what we need. I hope. It looks like it's trying to do something. But I don't see, I see all the green particles, but it didn't convert these trees to the magical variety. Hmm. I'll give it a moment and see what happens. Do they need to be... Oh, maybe they need to be the saplings, but I was pretty sure they had to be the full-grown tree. But nothing's, they didn't change. Uh, I'd have to try to remember how we did that. Oh, 
let's do you. And this is the large there. Okay, and then go back up. Whoop. And then we need to get our wand. Probably you should sleep. Oh, that's not what I want. This is what I want. And we need more of them. Could probably do this with just one more. That does it. I think the floor is all it. I know the tops of these are not safe, but the floor is a start. We will have to make clearly a stairway up to here. And these are still not magical, so we're going to actually plant a sapling and see if that doesn't change what happens um, when it grows. And we're going to put it right there. Um, let's chop these guys down. And we'll see if it needed to be a sapling. Of course. Um, Thomcraft doesn't have the blower uppers anymore, does it? Um, the elevator, the, the, um, I don't think so. I've not actually played with a whole lot of Thomcraft 6. What were they called? I can visualize them in my head. Of course, this is going to be a different texture pack, so I'm not going to be able to, like, pinpoint them. Levitators, yes. Yes, they do. Arcane levitators exist. Ugh, I wish I could get the background of this to work. So frustrating. So we have to look up so we can kind of see what it's here. That's the one thing that about this, I'm not sure how to fix that unless it's part of the John Smith custom that is breaking other things. But um, yeah, we don't have the research because we've not started. Needs some niter arcane mechanisms. It's cheap. So you're saying use elevators instead of stairs? <laughs> Find an elevator option.
No, because it'd be backseat gaming. <laughs> Need a way up here for now. Okay. All right. We definitely need to make more. Sand and quick lime and timber and buckets. Show the waddle and daub recipe. Sure. Waddle and daub. So in order to make these, we need to make the waddle and daub, which is cob and wicker. Okay. To make cob, you need cob balls, which are clay and mud and leaves, which mud is dirt balls and water, which get the dirt balls from dirt. And then the wicker is wheat and sticks. God, I'm glad we didn't do this one. This one looks harder. <laughs> this one would require a bit more infrastructure. to make the wicker. So yeah, then you've got the cob and the wicker, which gives you the waddle and daub. Timber framing's the same. So I'm kind of glad we went with the whiter one. <laughs> we have 16 more. things you talked about earlier. The clay wall? The one from the other mod? These? I am glad we chose this. I like the lighter color. We're almost all the way around. And then we get to figure out window and stuff. That's what I have on the ground by my chest. Oh, uh, this is just cobblestone. Chiseled cobblestone. So once we get all the way around with this layer, we get to figure out where um, windows are going. And I think anywhere that's only two wide will not be a window. So anything that's three wide could be a window. And the ones that are five wide will definitely be a window. So we've got five wide one here. We've got one five one one there. Right? Three, four. It's four. Okay, so that's a question. And then two, two, two. These are not going to be windows. This will definitely be a, a bank of windows here. It's okay to not have windows. 
Two, and then this will be a bank of windows. That one might be worked just fine. You like them to have a frame? Well, that won't be hard to do with the uh, lathe and plaster. Because we'll be able to choose, like for example, if I do this stuff without the angles in it, we can choose one that has got a vertical frame on the right and a vertical frame on the left, and then the windows would actually have framing. There's, yeah, uh-huh. There's the left framed, there's the right framed. Yep. We just need to keep making the timber, the lathe and plaster. Need to figure out the floor in here. Yeah. Oh. And it's only gonna be one, two, three tall in here, not four, it'll be three. Sleep again. And we need to keep cranking out that. Let's use up all the quick lime we have. Um, it depends on the build if I do a ceiling and a floor layer or just the floor is the ceiling layer. It depends. I believe in this instance with the space that I've got, it's going to be the ceiling is the floor of the next one. So yeah, it just depends on how much space I have, if I do any proper planning, that sort of thing. The other thing to think about, to concern yourself with, is I could totally do a different colored ceiling in here by chisel and bits, which is what I was doing in way back with um, Simple Life Revival when I was doing that pink lady, the pink lady mansion. You just do one pixel layer of color of whatever type you want, and there's your ceiling, and it'll be like painted, quote unquote painted. And it won't change, it changes it from being a connected texture, not connected, but these don't need to worry about that. Um, because they're not a technically a connected. Hey, it had to grow to do it. So when this one grows, I'll have two, I'll have two trees. Okay, we need to do a couple more, I think. I think there's a limit to like three or four trees. There's a limit to how many the beacon can handle. But it should be collecting, occasionally collecting wood drops now. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Alright, let's do, we have still 11 quick lime, so we can do two more recipes. And then now that we have the lime plaster, there we go. And we need the timber. We need to do this. I'm not going to make them all because I think this will be enough. And we can't undo them to make them one of the other types, I don't believe. So, yeah. Oh, we have far more than enough. Okay, and then this area somewhere is going to have a door um, out to the deck. So we'll leave that open for now. Alright. 
So then our next step is to turn this into the ones where there's windows. So we need a right frame and a left frame. So that is, this is the right frame. So the left frame probably is putting the timber on the other side. Yep. We have six so that we can do this. All right. Lathe. We do that and that. I don't think they have different versions. They're just... Okay. So the ones that we know are going to be windows are these two. Um, let's do... This wall has some exposed area that we'll be able to see. Right, left. Check it. And then we'll do a bottom frame for that one, and then it will be a frame around the window. Yeah, well, it's almost dinner time. It's almost lunch time, so he's getting a little complainy. He he's reminding me who's in charge. Very nice. So we'll do that for all the window spots that are three wide. We need to figure out what we're going to do in the two wide spots. <laughs> yep. Well, you, you've got to go. Take care. I am glad you got to hang out. Um, I end my stream at noon as well. I will be streaming again this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to hopefully 2 p.m. If my voice holds up, that's pretty much the only thing that I that I keep saying. If my voice can't handle it, then I won't be able to. But all right, so we've got some charcoal. Let's keep doing that, and then we'll do the rest of the chalk dust to get more quick lime to make more lathe and plaster to do more of the framed ones for windows. And we'll do all of the three wide windows that way. The interior, the ones that are too wide, might be an interesting thing to do. Um, those are the barn door types. We don't want to really do that. But these these framed arrows. Um, hmm. That's a possibility. Or we can just do one that's got the top frame and it'll just be smooth with a bar across the top. And then the other one we can do um, probably just regular bottomless framed. So that like, well, no. Jeez. It might be worth it. Here, let's do this near the end here. The ones that don't have barn door in the name, because that one's specifically for a barn style. Can we do that one? Okay. As you can see, we could probably almost write things in, like, you know, calculator script. All right, so we left off here. We've got that one. Right frame, parallel verticals, parallel horizontals, left framed. Okay. Bottom 
right framed, bottom framed, barn door. Arrow. All right. This might help us decide which ones to make um, for the little two wide ones. Oops. Alright, so we have one of these on the bottom of each one. So then at the top, remember these are the two wide windows. I think I would want one that is there one that just has a bar on the top or what we would probably want to do is you or um, hey that might work We might have a winner. And then is this the other one? No, it's got a line on the bottom. So we need the one that's like that, this one, only the other direction. That one? No. one is that? Wow. Hmm. I can't probably looking right at it and going, nope, that isn't it. Uh, see, but those have a bar on the bottom and this one doesn't. Did I not give me myself that one? That's possible too. Okay, so what is this one? This one is top left framed. So if we were to top right framed. This one. Yep. We give ourselves another of these. Now, we're probably going to want them taller, which means we would need ones that are just the this one. This guy. Let's pick you up. And... You. With... You on top there. 
continue on top there. I think this is our two wide window size. No window style. Well, no window. But I think that would work. And if I wanted to add detail, I can do so with chisel in bits. Um, either on top, or we could... Yeah, there's things we can do. Um, yeah, I think that would work quite well for the spots that are too wide. These are the three wide spots. And then we have that one over here that's four. We'll have to see what we're gonna, maybe we'll do like a little um, flower box or something here to give it a little bit of interest. I think I also have four on here. No, these are all three. Okay. So it's just that one side because of the deck window. No window. So in the front. Cost. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um. Yep. That's what we're gonna do. Yep. Yep. How we doing? Look at that. Slowly getting a bit of oak wood that we're gonna need to continue building this. Let's go into game mode. Creative. Fly up. Take a look. This is our town hall slash storage and workshop for our wizard's village that we have kind of plotted the areas out, remember? Got all this, there's where bridge is going to be. Yes! So we've got all that planned for building. But yep, I'm gonna call it here for today. We'll switch back to survival to finish building. Um, roofs again are gonna be colored slate. I don't know what color yet. And we're gonna make them kind of pointy, sort of in a steampunk style. Um, there may be another layer or two, I haven't decided. And we're definitely gonna add a bit more interest around the base. So there's, there's work to be done and then once we have it built, we'll be able to move our storage in there and actually start chiseling a bit, decorating, um, adding detail and interest. And as I told you, I wanted to kind of make each of the builds kind of sparkle or glitter or something. I think green would go well with the browns. Yep, it would. I could do green slate. Definitely an idea. But yep, I'm gonna call it here for today. It's about five minutes before I feed Hermes and I need to get some lunch myself and actually start work. So hope you enjoyed. I will catch you back here on Saturday morning. Take care folks and have a great rest of your day. Bye.